What's up everyone, it's Mailman Mike Chong. Just wanna say thank you for all the subscriptions, all the views and the comments and the likes. I really do appreciate it. If you wanna get a hold of me, I'm at Mailman Mike Chong on Instagram. Or if you would like to email me, I'm at Mailman Mike Chong at gmail.com for um, email. I do try and get back to everyone as soon as I possibly can, but definitely bear with me. Today, I wanted to talk about the, the face of the post office and it changing. Because when I first joined the post office, I was 27 years old. I was the youngest person in my office. Um, and now it's crazy because now I've been with the post office so long that I've seen us hire like kids fresh out of high school, you know, that are just turned 19 years old, um, you know. And when I was growing up, the post office had a huge like the face of the post office was it was older older to me um, because not only was my grandmother working for the post office but my aunt was and my stepfather and like one of my friends fathers uh, was working for the post office and they were already older they were like in their 40s and uh, 50s <clears throat> and now it's crazy because when you see people delivering on Sundays or you see people around town, it, they're so much younger. Like some of them are babies. And that's why I'm making this video because I'm wanting to get people not only that are just young, but I'm getting people, but I'm wanting to encourage people that from 19 to, or even 18, I guess, 18 to, you know, 60 years old, that it's, there's not one look of the post office now. Like you can look and see an 18 year old, you can look and see a 65 year old, you know, the, one of the, the, the guys that I um, interviewed at my office, he's in his sixties, you know, and he's only, he's one of many that are in the, in their sixties that I work with. So definitely don't rule yourself out. Like don't think because you're 45 or you're 50, that, you know, you can't hang or, you know, you're not going to be set up with retirement. I mean, it, it's definitely going to be different, a different retirement for you. But I definitely wouldn't let that discourage you from applying or, um, you know, also being an 18 year old. I mean, this will take me right into people going to college. I get people ask me, asking me all the time. Like, can I go to college full time? Like, yes, I was going to school full time as a CCA and I'm not going to lie. It was rough, but it's definitely manageable. You know, it all depends on your work ethic and how you approach school. And I was a horrible student in high school. Like I barely graduated and I went straight into the military. I didn't want to go to co the college route because I just wasn't good at school. And the crazy thing is, is as soon as I got out of the military, I went into college and I was like, wow, this is all I had to do this whole entire time. This is so easy. So you can, it's definitely possible to go to school full time um, while you're in, while you're a CCA, while even you're a carrier. I just had um, one of my, one of my good friends that uh, graduated um, with his degree and he's no longer working for the post office. So it's definitely possible whether and, and even if you're straight out of high school come to the post office give it a try you know it might be something better that will help you you know achieve that next goal at, whether it be getting your degree or or whatever but definitely give it a shot don't think that 18 is too young or inexperienced and definitely don't think that 45 50 even 60 years old is too old the post office has millions of faces now, and it's not just an old looking face anymore. It's young and old and all sorts of different ages. And that goes from the being a carrier to being a clerk to working at the plant to all aspect aspects of the post office. So that's my video today. Until next time. Later, guys.